quote Shakespeare on a on a stream. So hey, I will I will cut this game some slack for letting me talk about Shakespeare. So you know what, hey. For the record, favorite Shakespeare play, Comedy of Errors, favorite performance, favorite performance thereof, um, by the Flying Karamazov Brothers and Vaudeville Nouveau um, in New York. Um, was done, recorded for live in Lincoln Center, and aired on, on PBS. It's never gotten a official VHS or DVD release, but you can find it if you if you look. Let's just say. All right. I do really wonder, like, what character Rosita ended up playing in um, Hamlet. Like... Even if you're doubling up characters, uh, in like, let's say for a moment that we have additional actors on the cast who just aren't part of the New York Combat Review, and so they don't get scenes in here. Horatio has the advantage of not having any long speeches, which I think think would be a benefit for for Rosita. So she hasn't acted done a lot of like actual acting acting very much before this point. Um I wouldn't dump on her any of the big stuff like like Ophelia like Ophelia's a tough role to begin with with her character arc. But then she has like she's got a big soliloquy uh in the second act before her character's death. Um, and if played wrong, like, it's a big long speech, it easily go wrong in a lot of ways, and so that one, like, I don't see that working. I could see Polonius' speech, if he's giving advice to his children, um, would work. Because the way this, the, the, the setting is laid out, it theoretically with set dressing high, high cue cards as a reminder. Um, in fact, that's basically what they did in the German version that ended up on MST3K. In fact, if you can... You actually have like Polonius rehearsing the speech to himself on camera before um, his kids show up. Um, So there's that. I like her as the grave till the grave digger. He act, grave digger actually has a kind of a, a bit of a speech. Um, but he's more of a banter character, so that could work. Um, then. Who did Robin Williams play in the Brannock version? I forgot that character's name. As the guy who conveyed, who like, who like sent to bring the terms of the duel. Osric. Um, that's right. I could see her Oz and Osric. Uh, the whole thing being like getting thrown off, like like a lot of like a lot of Osric's speech or scene is Osric trying to deliver a message, getting interrupted by Hamlet and um 
um, Horatio saying, yes, my lord, a bunch, being prompted to start over, and then getting interrupted again, while Horatio and Hamlet, mainly Hamlet, make him take his hat off and put it back on again. Alright. Although, if you have her rate, um, Rosita as her, as Horatio again. Horatio doesn't have speeches. Horatio goes walk like spends basically spends a lot of the play following following Hamlet around and reacting to him. Um. So, which all which also means that you're putting Rosita as sidekick to Subaru. Which is actually kind of funny, now that I think about it. Alright. Are you sure? Again, get Diana, Eeyore, and Marvin the 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 android into a room together. Maybe Zetsubo Sensei as well. Fair. Fair assessment. All right. Like, the second one got me points with Gemini, but the assessment is fair. Also, I have on good authority that life is pain. Anyone who says otherwise is selling something. I want you to live. All right. Okay. Very Hitchcockian. Also, I'm going to say, um, like, here's the thing with presenting this information in this manner. You only get a good look at this with a wide shot. 
Um, but like we're we're having this on a monitor screen. The thing is, look, complete with scan with simulated scan lines. But the thing is, like with if you're gonna go steampunky for this, if you're not doing a faux CRT uh, display. Like, the next best futuristic thing to be a full-wall film-projected display. I'm guessing that that expression is supposed to be, um, uh, <laughs> is supposed to be, um, Rosita's insightful face. That, and she knows a lot about birds, and we're planning to recruit her anyway. Oh. Except it's an artificially induced fate. Um, we're not talking... Something that's... Incur that is a natural process part of life. This is... Put it another way. This is a... Classes. Uh, this is an action from an, an outside action by a third party. This is not natural order of things, so it's our duty to stop them. My glass. Your city screams. What is this? Is this Frank? Did we just suddenly end up in Frank Miller presents the spirit? My city's mother. You know what I really don't like about Frank Miller present Frank Miller's version of the spirit. There was a the comic DC was rerunning a the Spirit comic at the time the movie came out, um, with like some pretty big names writing it, like um, name just completely just fell out of my head, um, Darwin Cook, like writing uh, doing writing doing art for the book among other things. It was a really great series. I love it. I'm just, I have almost the full run. Um. Uh, of um, Darwin Cook writing Will Eisner's The Spirit. Excellent. Re deals with a lot of the issues of the original work very well, particularly problems with character designs. Um, fantastic. And like around the time the movie came out, like a little, not too long after a movie came out, the um, book kind of just got canned. And I can't help but feel like basically Frank Miller killed Will Eisner's the sp killed the uh, spirit revival.
I'm going to go into timeout. Not to mention, like, anything I do say gives me a big negative modifier for pretty much everyone here, so. Eesh. Yes, but... This isn't normal behavior. This is an outside act entity interfering. So this is something you want to stop. Jeez. Not helping, Rosita. With great power, Rosita, comes great responsibility. I was informed by this, this by this older guy with a big bushy mustache at the coffee shop. Also, that's not an effective way for taking on attacking birds, revolvers. No, like, it's called bird shot for a reason. Proxy murder, my true indulgence. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.